Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sublime Sims, also known as Soft Girl Gaming on TikTok, and I'm back with another episode of Life in the Kent Countryside. Now, if you notice the title, it says Baby Boom, and that is because I have not one, two, or three, but four Sims pregnant at the same time, and this was not on purpose. I only planned for one of them to be pregnant, and then the rest of them did it on their own because I do have neighborhood stories um, on right now. I have Daphne, Sylvia, Corinne, and Daphne's mom are all expecting and they're all going to be due around the same time. So this was not my plan to have Daphne have kids back to back like this, but to help things at home um, because I do have the farm, I've decided to hire a ranch hand so hopefully her husband will start making some more money soon because the ranch hand is not cheap. Now for right now, I just have them sitting down to do a nice little lunch together because they haven't gotten to do a girl's day um, since Daphne has had the new baby. So they're going to just catch up for a little bit and then I think we're going to have Daphne head home after that. Y'all, I just cannot believe they're all pregnant at the same time. Like. Like in a way it's kind of cute for the friends, but her and her mom being pregnant at the same time again is like, okay. All right, for drinks, I am just going to get a mamosa for all three of them. I would assume that that's not alcoholic because of the name. Hopefully it's not. Um, we're not gonna do any appetizers. Um, it's about two in the afternoon right now. So I think I want to do shepherd's pie for Daphne just because I like that in real life. And then let's get um maybe seafood chowder for Sylvia. And we're going to do the cured fish waffles. Now Daphne is showing the most, but I still want to have her share the big news with both of her friends, even though I'm sure they could tell when they saw her. I think Sylvia is showing a little bit, but I feel like with Corinne, you really can't tell at all. I mean, you can kind of tell a little bit. Corinne was the only one that I intentionally had get pregnant. Oh, that was cute. Okay, let's talk to Sylvia a little bit. Let's gossip about other parents, because low-key, I feel like they would be like, yeah, I'm definitely not parenting like so-and-so. She's a good mom, but her parenting style is not for me. We're also going <laughs> to tell Corinne the latest tea we've heard around town. So we're like, I know I've been spending a lot of time at home, but I'm still in the know. And why is this man in the back staring them down? Y'all, not the gag. This is what we get for having a table full of pregnant women. All right, their food has arrived. Everything looks so good. I'm not gonna lie though, waffles look the best in my opinion. Now Daphne is an overachiever, so I wanted um, enthused about learning additional skills. I feel like she'd be saying like, Pregnancy didn't slow me down at all the first time. I was still cross-stitching, doing my flower arrangements. <laughs> so don't let it get you down. Like Loki, Daphne is kind of a busybody, but I like that because then I'm never bored when I'm playing as her. And I feel like Sylvia would be the same way because she gives off like perfectionist vibes. Um, let's have a deep conversation with her. I think she would just be asking, like, so aside from the pregnancy, how have things been with you and your husband? How are things at home? Oh, 
Oh, she's showing a lot now. She wasn't showing this much before. She must have just hit her second trimester. I know they're at the table, but I wonder if she can, um, like, ask to feel the baby. Oh, this is so cute. I think Corinne still looks about the same. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I bet it would be a fun experience to be having um, kids at the same time as your friend. Yeah, we can't do it just yet with um, Corinne, so let's just give her a hug. Now, why did I look over just now and see this at the bar? The werewolves are out of control, honestly. Okay, they just paid, so everyone is about to head home now, um, and then we'll spend some time with Daphne's family. Daphne made it home just in time to get Pippa in bed for the night. So she's just getting her in her crib. We're going to try to um, soothe her to sleep. If y'all remember, she's like kind of a very fussy baby, so she takes a little bit more work to keep her in a good mood, which I feel like is realistic. Like most babies are not super easy. Oh my gosh, why did y'all, I put for Ezra to shave and I didn't mean to shave all of his facial hair. I just want him to trim it. Let's have him change though into his normal clothes and I wanted him to come down um, to make some jewelry, but I don't know if we're going to do it or not because they only have 8,300 Somalians. Um, maybe, does he have any left? So usually I have him give these to his wife, but maybe I should have him sell it. Okay, it gave him 200. Now the ring I might keep though. Um, it's not too much, but I actually think we'll wait. Let's just have them come down and take care of these plants. We're going to weed them and then sell everything. I think I'm going to also have um, Daphne go ahead and like start her nighttime routine, what she's done using the bathroom. And then maybe we'll have her play a little bit of the piano before she goes to sleep. Oh, I can't believe I shaved all his hair off. He looks like a baby now. Like, I know they are actually young, but still. Okay, I think we can evolve this one. Now, I did have Daphne already sell the milk and eggs for the day, but I just want to make sure we don't have anything else. We'll do the um the other animals in the morning, like shearing the llama um, to make us a little bit more money. And then I'm trying to save these crops until the next um, fair, but... It's not until next weekend, so I'm not sure. I almost feel like I should just go ahead and sell them and then replant them. Because um, I'm scared that they might go bad. So I think I'm just going to have them go ahead and do that. Let's sell all of our crops. Aw, Daphne's so cute playing the piano. And it actually sounds good when she plays. I'm not sure, what is her skill level right now? Okay, she's almost to level 6. Okay, y'all, it's a few minutes later, and they're about to catch up a little bit, tell each other about their day. I feel like Daphne's going to be like, it was so good to finally get some time away from the house with my friends. 
I can't believe we're all expecting. And then I feel like Ezra would be saying how he really doesn't like his job, but he is slowly starting to move up, so he's feeling good about that. Y'all, how cute would it be if they slow dance down here? Oh, I think he's flirting with her. Why are they going outside? You know what? It's still a vibe. Slow dancing under the stars. I feel like at this point they're like reminiscing on their wedding day. Oh, <laughs> that was cute. Okay, y'all, it's getting late. I'm going to have them go ahead and get some sleep because it probably won't be too long before Pippa wakes up for the first time. It's 4 a.m. as we just woke up, so I'm going to have him grab some breakfast really quick and then have him get started on the farm chores. Let's have him clean out the fridge first, and then we'll get some leftovers. Chicken sliders is an interesting choice for breakfast, but, you know, no judgment. Do what you got to do. So I know I um, hired the ranch hand, but I'm just going to have him get a head start on at least feeding the animals. And then we're going to wake up the goats and sheep in a second to get their um, milk and I think it's like wool. Oh, the rabbit is back. Do we have anything to gift? Let's gift a rose. I want the rabbits to stay so we can get the um, the rabbit home. And this one is so cute. Let's name this one. We're naming this one Buttons. I don't know why. That's just what he looks like. Oh, he liked it. Oh, he didn't like it. Um, Can we maybe pet him? Maybe he doesn't want to be pet because he didn't like his gift. Oh, at least he let us um, pet him. He's so cute. <laughs> Love that. All right, let's go ahead and get our milk from Freya. We'll also get some milk from this little goat. This one does not have a name. I could have sworn that I named the um the goats and sheep. I guess I didn't, so I'll give them some names later. It looks so funny to me when they milk the goats because they're so tiny. I think I actually want the sheep in real life. Like, I think that that would make me a happier person to have one of these. It looks like the ranch hand made it and he's starting on Arlo, getting him all cleaned up. I noticed that there weren't any eggs, which is strange because we have so many chickens. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. We're going to shear one more of the sheep, I think this is. I think we need to call him away from the chicken coop. Um, let's just call him over. And then we'll shear Arlo before I give him a break because I'm pretty sure he does have to work today. I think he works Monday. Oh, he doesn't have to work today. Perfect. So we don't even need the ranch hand today. We are getting some decent money though. We're almost at 10000 Okay, I think I want to go ahead and wake up um, Daphne while he's finishing up the farm chores. I know she's hungry, but I want to have her go ahead and feed Pippa first. Oh, <laughs> the dog's just watching. Okay, we're going to wake her up and feed her, and then I think we'll put her in the back carrier while she goes downstairs to eat. I don't know what it is, but I feel like Daphne's stomach looks so big throughout her pregnancy for her to be such a small sim. And the first time, I honestly thought that maybe she was having twins, but then she just had one. 
Okay, we're gonna feed her. Hazel's like, um, what about me? I know I have an automatic feeder, but I would like some attention. Daphne and Peppa made it downstairs. And I think this little bat carrier is so cute. I do feel a little bad that her face is literally in her hair, but she looks like she's happy. I think it's fine. We're going to have her talk to her while she's in the carrier. Kimba Darfy. She just got her diaper changed, loves being carried, and Pippa just had a blast spending time with an incredible sim. Stop, that is so cute. That's about her mom. I think we should have them um, do some tummy time. I want to move this outside, actually, because I think it would be nice for her to, like, get some fresh air. So maybe we'll put it, like, right here. I don't even know if Pippa has been outside. I don't think she has. I have them playing outside, and how cute is this? Like, they just look like they're having the best time, and the scenery is so pretty. On the other side, this is where the animals are. We're not going to talk about the dirty chicken coop, because I'm assuming the ranch hand is going to get to it. But this is so cute. Hey, I have Daphne um, giving Pippa a nap because she's pretty tired, but we're probably going to go ahead and move her to her crib in a second. We've made it over to the Bishop residence, so I'm going to have Daphne go ahead and knock on the door. Hopefully everyone is home, but I think they are. I love this house. Like, I'm living for the little swans and ducks. Honestly, I wish that we could, um, like, interact with them in the game, but I also like them just for the aesthetic, too. Alright, I see her sisters. Oh my gosh, not her little brother. Let's go pick him up and move him, because why is he in the, the counter? Alright, we're going to, um... I haven't been in this house in a while. I don't even remember where the nursery is. Oh, it's here, but they don't have um, a crib. That's fine. We'll just put him in his room, though. Y'all, I can't believe her mom <laughs> is pregnant again. I actually think that she might be in her third trimester. I'm going to have Ezra come over and speak to her. We're just going to share some kind words. And I'm pretty sure that she has met the baby. But we'll go ahead and do that anyway, just in case. All right, we're waiting for Daphne's mom to come down. So I just have her catching up with her younger sister. I would definitely like to do an episode with this family just to talk more about her. Because, honestly, the two of them could not be more opposite. While Daphne is thriving, living kind of in the traditional role of being a wife, um, her younger sister really wants to be the opposite. Like, she doesn't mind getting married, but she wants to have her own career and, like, follow her own dreams outside being, you know, a homemaker. So I would like to do like a little bit of a deep dive on her, but I'll see how I can fit it into the series. I also have um, Ezra offering a listening ear to Marcus, because I'm not going to lie, Marcus low-key is always kind of like off to the side somewhere. Like it is most definitely giving middle child vibes, and I've been feeling bad for him. Like we didn't forget about you. Maybe we should um have them... I don't want to talk about fishing with him. Let's ask how school is going. And then I want Daphne to also catch up with her dad. I don't know why he's being antisocial. Um, we'll share the big news. And then I also will officially introduce him to Pippa. 
But I swear we already introduced all of them, so I don't know why it still says that. All right, she's talking to her dad. Love a little family moment. I think she has to um, get Pippa again because Ezra took her. Uh, yes, I definitely think Ezra would like jokes. Wait, why is Pippa upset? Oh, she's tired. Okay, well, we'll introduce her and then give her a nap. So I ended up having almost everyone just move to the dining room to eat the pie because none of my interactions were working. So let's just ask how the pie tastes and maybe brag about the baby. I also want to have her um, maybe just be funny with her little brother. We'll do an inside joke. Y'all can just think about how many aunts and uncles like Pippa and the new baby is going to have. Because they're on what, baby number four? Her parents? Like, I thought Daphne was going to have a big family, but I feel like her mom is in competition with her at this point. Aw, this is really cute. I just love these families. Let's tell her an outrageous story. And I'm going to check in on Ezra. I know he's giving Pippa a nap because her energy was so low. It is still pretty low. Um, and her needs are getting pretty low. So I actually think they're going to be wrapping up soon because it's getting late. But I feel like she didn't really get a chance to talk with her mom. So we're going to invite her to feel the baby. And I think we can ask her... Well, actually, we'll just give her a hug. We won't ask her to date. Oh, so cute. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. All right, we'll have her run to the bathroom really quickly, and then we're going to give um, her dad a hug before she leaves, and we are going to catch up with them in the morning. It's the next afternoon. I've just had everyone do their morning chores, and Buttons came back to give us a gift. I'm going to pause it. We got a tomato sauce. Okay, let's go ahead and give him a gift, too. We're going to give him a flower. Uh, let's try a daisy because he didn't like the roses. And I think that she is in her third trimester. Yeah, she's in her third trimester now. Yay, so cute. All right, Pippa is down for the um afternoon. I honestly, I don't. Oh, it's the music. I was going to say, I don't understand why she keeps waking up. I'm going to have um, Ezra stop what he's doing and just put her in her own bed because she has been waking up like nonstop all day and she's just not getting any rest. Okay, we finally got Pippa down for her nap. All the animals are taken care of and a new garden is started for the next fair. So I think this is a great place to wrap up today's episode. For the next episode, um, we will have a new baby in the home. Um, but also, I would really like to do her first little... Um, I guess we could call it a yard sale, but we're selling like her baked goods, some canned goods, and then eggs and milk from the farm. So we're either going to do this at her house or I did place a farmer's market lot. So that's what you can expect in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all are enjoying this series. And if you are, please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.